Hey, history nerds, welcome back to the channel where we geek out over the fascinating evolution of military technology through the ages. Today, we're exploring a modern marvel from Pakistan's defense sector, the Advanced Infantry Mortar System, or AIMS, developed by Heavy Industries Taxila, or HIT. If you're into how nations build their own tech to adapt to changing warfare, this one's for you. Stick around as we break down its history, specs, and why it's a big deal in today's strategic landscape, all while keeping things educational and fact-based. First, a bit of backstory. Shit, based in Taxila, Pakistan, has been a key player in the country's defense industry since the 1970s, producing everything from tanks to artillery. Ames is their latest innovation, developed in partnership with private firm Comcept PVT-101 it made waves at international defense expos like IQ Dex in 2025, showcasing alongside heavyweights like the Hyder main battle tank. Born out of the need for flexible tools in diverse terrains, from mountains to deserts, AIMS reflects Pakistan's push for self-reliant military tech amid regional challenges. What sets AIMS apart? It's a vehicle-mounted, automated mortar system designed for mobility and quick setup. Typically fitted on a 4 vs 4 truck, it takes up just a 7 by 25 meter space on the bed and weighs under 700 kilograms without ammo, making it lightweight and easy to transport. It's dual caliber, handling both 81 mm and 120 mm mortars, which lets operators switch based on the mission. For range, the 120 mm version can reach up to 6.5 kilometers, while the 82 mm hits about 4.5 kilometers, solid for providing indirect fire support in infantry operations. The real ingenuity is in its shoot and scoot design, a tactic that's been around since World War II, but supercharged here with modern tech. It deploys in under 40 seconds, re-aims in just 10 seconds, and packs up in 20 seconds helping units move fast to avoid detection in an era of drones and radar. Plus, it has an onboard carrier for up to 40 rounds of 120 Camer ammo, reducing the need for constant resupply. Advanced digital systems handle navigation, fire control, and even integrate with broader networks for better accuracy. Historically, systems like this evolved from classics like the US M120 mortar, emphasizing speed and survivability in asymmetric conflicts. For Pakistan, AIMS boosts operational flexibility without the bulk of traditional artillery, fitting into a doctrine focused on rapid response. It's all about adaptation, much like how Western forces have upgraded their own mobile mortars over the decades. That's the scoop on AIMS, history nerds. If you love diving into defense history like this, hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment. What's your favorite piece of modern military tech? Thanks for watching. Stay curious.